Hi, thanks for joining us. This is going to be a very quick video on how to use the Dryland Linear Guides Expert Tool. Here on the main screen, you choose your main geometry from amongst our four product lines. Today, I'm going to choose our Linear Profile Guide Dryland T. Select the carriage type. There are a number of options that we have. Choose your size. I'm going to pick our standard carriage. If you want to change these measurements to Imperial, you go up here and you can flip it here. For today's practical purposes, I'm going to keep it metric. Some options that you can choose here, if you want to clamp or not, and click next. You pick the orientation and quantity of your rails. I'm going to choose today a horizontal application with two rails. I put my B dimension, which is the dimension between rails. Let's make it 250 millimeters. Choose the quant number of carriages between rails and the distance that the carriages are spaced here. Let's put them in even 100 apart. Let's call my rail length 500. Next. All right. I can choose if I have a single drive or sometimes you might have two drives, but two lead screws on either side of the system is pretty, is fairly common. I'm going to choose today a single drive force and you can change where that drive force is located by dragging this icon or you can put in the actual values here if you know them all right and the, here's where you can change the orientation of your load so my load is centered up off the system again you can also put these coordinates in on the side I have a load of about 10 pounds, 44 newtons, one meter per second squared of acceleration. And I'm looking for a lifetime over the course of my application for a thousand kilometers. If there is an axial load into the system, I can put that in here. So if you're pushing something and there's a load back through the bearings, I can add that load in here and it will give me a purple pusher force here which I can relocate for today. I'm not going to do that. I'll click next. I get the application information. So it looks like this system is going to work for how long I would like it to work. It looks like the load is okay. Here's my wear over the course of in Y and Z direction after that thousand kilometers of travel. It gives me my max continuous speed. I'm needing 14 Newtons of drive force to get the part sliding and I have a security factor, a very high security factor. So that is telling me that maybe I over specified the system. I want to show you what it looks like if a part does not work with a very, very high load. So you get a feeling for that. So let's put in a really high load. And here you'll see that the load's too high and the wear limits reached. You can click on the optimize buttons, which will give you information on potential solutions. In this case, I know what the problem is. So I'm going to go back and put in the original load, 44 Newtons. And I can the part add the part to my shopping cart. I can order the part right away. I can get the step files if I click here. I can find the catalog page. What I really love is you can download a PDF file of this application and save it in your project folder here. And it spits out all this information for you concisely. Another thing you can do is save this configuration to your desktop and when you want to upload it again or bring it here you can upload it so if there's any questions please give us a call at the number on the screen if you'd like to try out the system for yourself also click this link thanks and have a great day